Jim, stop playing on your phone and introduce us. No, I'll never do that. Ever. Oh, I mean, yo guys. Jim and Brian here from Drink a Beer and Play a Game, and we have another podcast topic for you. So I'll take the lead on this as it was kind of my idea, and it's not really a set in stone kind of newsworthy topic, but every once in a while the Dreamcast comes back in the news because people are making petitions again to, you know, have Sega make a Dreamcast 2. Now, it's never going to happen for a number of reasons. They're not going to do the R&D. They need the first party hardware. It's going to be a piece of crap. Blah, 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 blah. Sega's into pits as it is. But it kind of got us thinking as to what console would we want to see either come back as a re-release, be upscaled, maybe have a limited kind of run deal. I don't know. It's just thought it'd be interesting. So, Bri, I'll let you go first. I mean, my first right off the bat answer is none. Uh, to me, any any old system, it was it was there for a reason, and it it evolved to what we have today, and I'm fine with that. It seems like some of the later generational games, like PS2, Xbox, even shit, Xbox 360 and PS3, the games we love from those are getting remastered even now, which is its own topic, which we've already talked about. So I won't waste my time, but I I laughed when Jim talked to me about this because I was like. That, like, do I need to see another version of the Jaguar? No. Because unless it's a system that's just going to bring me something new, I don't need to rehash old games or old systems that I've had my time with. And guess what? They're not gone forever. I can go back and play them. Whether it's through actually having the hardware or emulation, no matter what your feelings are, you can still experience those old systems in one way or another. So, no need to re-release it, but that's just my opinion. Alright, fair enough. Um, I'm basically along the same lines, but I guess if I had to choose a system, I'd probably go with something that was never released, that was always in the prototype phase. So, like how there was the Nintendo PlayStation, whatever could have been done with that. Or, actually if I had to choose, I would love to have my hands on like a real first party Sega Neptune. Which for those who don't know, which was basically a Genesis and 32 x in one, in this nice little sleek design. Kind of looked like a beefier Genesis model, too. 32X sucked. No, it didn't suck! It just didn't get the chance it deserved! All 20 games. Hey, it had, like... Like, like six or seven good ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Virtual Fighter's awesome on it! Awesome's a relative term. But, I mean, I would still like to have something like that eat for A, convenience, B, if they would make it, you know, upscalable, and C... Let's face it, the current hardware won't be around forever. Eventually, I mean, not in our lifetime, but it's going to get tougher and tougher to find these things. So if they were ever going to re-release a special edition one, I'd like to see something like that. But it couldn't be a clone system because if you've seen any of the Genesis clones or any of the other console clones, they're always crappy in one way or another. Bad graphics, bad sound cards, blah, 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 blah. It would have to be from the ground up from the company. But... That's my idea. So let us know below, guys. Uh, what consoles would you want to see get a re-release? Would you want a new Super NES to come out or something like that? Or are you like Brian and just figure what's the point? As always, guys, cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs>